the toy box. It's one of those days again where I am two sides. Suicide not subsiding and the other side barely siding with me. A tornado losing all my siding. A scaffold sliding, wondering which side which side of the gun, which side of the drowning, which side of the fall, the super soaker or the Glock, the imagination or the water, the parachute or the plummet. See, somewhere inside this gun locker of a man, is a chest evacuated of toys. Deep inside this knocking engine was a room in Aurora, Colorado, innocence in a sense losing its sunshine, a frame exposed with an eight-year-old black boy. See, it's 1994, nappy head, grass stains, torn jeans, wrestling action figures, football player posters, teenage turtle sheets, and probably too much booger and butt picking to count. But slowly and surely, his home is melting. A tornado of hands, everything is too fast to grab. He is wondering, Everything is ticking, flickering and fading, wondering where his history is going. There's a storm warning for a green sky, three parents, three grandparents, three weeks, three fallen sequoias pounded his tectonic phonics until it was just rattling. Three cross country tips, he and the other three in the house silent, an aftershock astronaut, a knot in his throat, a knot again on his little boy tongue, traveling, speed knots, crashing against the waves. One, will granddad and I still go fishing? Two, singing for great grandma dim, 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 as the light dimmed from her face. Three, a phone call. Nana didn't wake up out of her sleep. My best friend, the woman who taught me poetry and everything I know about being brave. And the house evacuates like flood water, leaving you inside. Here, he flees to his real home, his life, his life raft his tortoise shell, the toy chest, where escaping was possible, singing dim, dim with crayon songs inside until darkness dims into fluorescence, where he could dream them back, could set some hooks and take proud pictures with grandpa, could pull the sheets over and call his Nana and get in the, and get in the, and get sat down and laugh a map into a bucket list until glimmering limericks fell out of her wrinkles and I'd say Nana and she'd say I told you they're everywhere and poems were just petals from casket decoration he knows coloring book scripture de-shelling Silverstein till his thorax loraxed back on their laps from the doctrine of Seuss in this cube when I stand on two sides, suicide not subsiding, and the other side barely siding with me, a boy peeks out from the chest, laughing. He stands proudly in cowboy boots, whitey tidies, ashy knees, and invites me in and says, Joe Vaughn, do you remember this? That sometimes you have to laugh through the night to get the stars on your side. Since we are all here, you always try to oversee us. Jovan, wake up. 
Jovan, get back here. Jovan, I love you. Jovan, I know storms, how they can swoon and swear, how everything feels upside down in its wake. But come on in, pull up a crayon and tell me a story no one knows but us, a secret we both share, that tomorrow wants you. Nighttime is hungry, daytime is draining. But chests are not caskets. It is a home that your heart rests in. And boxes are just houses. And houses can be haunted. But in here, the ghosts are with you. Thank you.